Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about two type of real-time scheduling. One is proportional shear scheduling and number two is POSIX P-thread real-time scheduling. With proportional shear scheduling, it operates by dividing P shares among all the applications in a system so that an application can receive N shares of the total CPU time. So the application is receiving N by P shares of the total CPU time. Now suppose there is a hundred shares that is to be distributed among applications A, P, C in a system. A is given 50 share, B is given 15 share and C is given 25 share. So in this way, the shares can be divided among the applications. Now the proportional share scheduling works in conjunction with the admission control algorithm, which will check that whether to admit a client depending upon the resources and shares available to the system. Now it will only admit a client requesting for a certain amount of shares if the same shares is available in the system or not. Now for example that we have taken consideration that the system applications are A, B and C with 50, 25 and 15 shares. So it adds up to 40 plus 50 that is 90 shares. So if the client of D or an application D is requesting to get into the system which requires 30 shares, we cannot admit it into the system as it has only 10 shares available with it. In this way, proportional share scheduling algorithm works with the admission control algorithm. Now the second serial time CPU scheduling algorithm we will discuss is the POSIX P-thread algorithm. It also provides extension of this real-time computing. Now there are many POSIX APIs that are included in the real-time algorithm. It actually provides two scheduling classes in POSIX. One is SCADE FIFO and another is SCADE RR. In SCADE FIFO, the processes are scheduled in a first scheme first serve basis within a FIFO queue but there is no time slicing among the equal priority threads. Thus, the higher priority with the appearing head front of the FIFO queue will be allotted the CPU and it will be executed until it terminates or blocks. Whereas, it's using the SCADE RR algorithm, the, it will be same as the SCADE FCFS algorithm or FIFO algorithm, but there is time slicing present among the equal priority threads that during a time quantum it will be repeated one after another. There is one more scheduling class known as SCADE OTHER but that is system specific and undefined. In various systems it can behave variously. There are two system functions by the POSIX API which can support this real-time CPU scheduling. They are pthread editor t get sked and pthread editor t set sked. Using this two function of get sked and set sked, we pass the parameter of the pointer to the set of attributes of the threads or processes and for the set sked function, we are passing the integer value of sked fifo, sked other or sked other and for the get sked function, we are passing a pointer to the integer value that is set to the current value of the operating classes of scheduling. That is either of the sked RR or sked FIFO. So using these two system functions of POSIX, we can actually get the current scheduling classes and also set the scheduling classes as per the needed. So we will solve an example using the POSIX P API that will first get the current scheduling classes and then set it to the SCADE FIFO.
First, we are declaring the policy and I integer along with the set of attributes for the thread using the pthread attitude t variable. Now we are passing a pointer to the attribute directives that is attr to get the actual and default current attribute set for the threads using this pthread attr init function. Now we are using this pthread attr get sket policy and using this function we are getting the current scheduling class of this thread. Now we are passing the parameters that the set of attributes and a pointer to that policy. Now if the policy is returning a non-zero then the, it is unable to get that policy that the successful return should always return a zero. Now depending on the type of policy, it should display the policy set. Now if it is skate other, then it should display skate other. If it is skate FIFO, then it should display skate FIFO. Or if it is skate other, then it should display skate other depending on it. Now after getting the current policy for the scheduling classes, we will set this policy to skate FIFO. Now using this set skate policy function, we are passing the parameter of a pointer to the set of attributes and the actual value that we are setting here is skate FIFO. Now the successful setting will return a zero and if not then it will return a non-zero value which then we are displaying that unable to set policy. Other than that, the skate FIFO policy is set to the current threads. In this way, POSIX P thread can differentiate among the schedule classes and appropriate schedule classes is applied to appropriate system behavior. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.